and this is a game of area control and resource management that takes place on a 3D randomized map. And the way that you win this game is either be the first to gain 30 influence or be the first to control a certain amount of areas by building your towers. And the way that this game plays is that each player is going to be controlling their own asymmetrical character and each round plays over three phases. There's the twilight, the night, and the daybreak phases. And during the twilight phase, players are going to be choosing a potion specific to their character, which is going to add a new ability that you can use for the rest of the game. After that, we move into the night phase where players have a option to perform one out of the four possible actions that they have access to. And the first option here is to grow one of your mushroom towers out on the board, and each area on the board is associated with a certain element, and depending on where you're growing that tower, that's actually going to move you up the element track associated with that location. Moving up on these tracks will allow you to generate elements of those resources, and there's a few different elements that players will have access to. The fire elements allow players to destroy, where the stone elements allow them to protect, the water elements are required to grow your towers, and the thunder elements allow you to gain energy for different spells. And then finally, the moon elements offer a different path to victory because if you control enough of these spaces, then you will automatically win the game. But rather than growing one of your towers, you could instead choose to pick up and cast a scroll, and these can be used to harm your opponents, and these can be also chained together. And the third option you can do is to attack an opponent's tower that's adjacent to one of your own. And this is where the fire and stone elements will really come into play so that you can put a lot of pressure on your opponent while protecting yourself. And the fourth and final option for your action is to summon a resource from one of the tracks that you've made progress on. And after all players have performed their actions, we move into the third phase, which is essentially a refresh and cleanup phase where certain things will be reset and players will recharge their magic up to full. And then the game continues like this over a series of rounds until one player gets either those 30 victory points or is able to control enough of those moon locations. And if you're interested in this one, I have links in the description below.